We arrived on scene to find police clearing what was left after the fire gutted the house. Reports pinned the assistance pretender of police, Edward Boer, as the culprit who had set the house alight with his mother, the victim who had been locked in there. Her body had been taken to Mulago for a post-mortem. Our old woman, a senior citizen of the area, passed away during the course of the fire. However, her body was managed, they managed to retrieve it and was taken for the post-mortem post by the police. According to locals, the fire started at around 3 a.m. and efforts to seek help from the police were unable to prevent the calamity. It is alleged that her son locked her inside the house and set it alight. Got to learn of this issue in the wee hours of the night. So communication went on to, to get some help from the police who eventually came in but the fire had really done a lot of damage and havoc. Because she has been a mother, an inspirer, and a mentor. Inside the house, fire had claimed everything with the home library and other academic documents left to ash. Of a lot of knowledge concerning uh, uh, self-delivery, concerning midwifery, and, and things of, in that line. Now, when you look at the setup of the house with a lot of books, newspapers, and what, it made it easy for fire to get the house. So Relatives and friends spoke about the deceased as a kind person who supported women in the community and advocated for children's education in Entebbe. She herself could encourage widows in the church. She's a prayerful person. We have lost a big mother. Upon his arrest, a matchbox was recovered on him. He is currently detained at Entebbe Police Station as investigations go on to ascertain his motive. The body of Nyakuni has been conveyed to Chimosha de Mulago for post-mortem. Kaman Ivan Walnyolo, NTV Weekend Edition.